recorded? Yeah. Right. This is my script idea called In Plain Sight. My name's Corey Aspin. My idea. Um, my idea is basically about a guy named Steve who constantly, he's travelling constantly around America manipulating families, like what he'll do, he'll meet a family, move in with the family, eventually kill someone in the family or kill the family, use their identification and then do the same again. And in my story, uh, what happens is he meets this woman called Joanne at the supermarket, who's a widowed woman who has been single now since her husband died like 10 years ago or whenever he died, I don't know, maybe, no. um, and he moves in with the family but her friend called Shannon uh, has a son who is in the marines slash military and um, he has some kind of, he comes back like six, seven months into the relationship and the first time I'm meeting Steve, um, he has this um, bad impression, so he starts questioning him, trying to get out, like, trying to, because he doesn't believe it's him, and then what happens is, um, Steve, uh, Steve, <sighs> Adrian, because I've called him Adrian, uh, leaves, <laughs> and, um, uh, Joanne's son, uh, son, daughter, Rose, rings up Adrian and he says he thinks something's going on and just joking about it. And Rose actually says, Oh, but um, there's a killer, a, a psycho, blah, 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 blah. And they put the. He just. Oh, I'm shit, I'm scrambling myself, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he actually finds out that he's one of the most wanted men in America, but by the time he's found out, it's already too late and like the family's like in danger. Uh, it's gonna be a drama slash thriller and because it's a big story, I want it to be like 10, 15 minutes. My location, didn't think this through because everyone's <laughs> done it in Manchester, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Me being, being a tool, but America, so, <laughs> it looks like I'm flying out to America. Uh, there's only five characters in my story. Steve, who's obviously, as like I said, going around constantly changing his identity. Joanne, who's about 40 years old, says she's wealthy, um, as her husband left her a lot of money. Uh, she, Sh Shannon, who's Joanne's best friend, uh, she's... Rose who's, Rose, who's Joanne's daughter, who is about 18, finishing her, her last year in high school, getting ready to go uh, to college, and Adrian, who's in the military, slash Marines, and he's about 23 years old. Uh, obviously, the locations is the supermarket is where they actually meet, and then I'm just going to have the rest of it at the house or in bedrooms is where I'm hoping for it to. What inspired me to create this idea? Well, upon research, I found a story about a, a boyfriend who held her, his girlfriend and her, her son in a box for months and when after escaping after months, they actually uh, was free for two, three weeks, and then the boy, the boyfriend came and shot him and killed him. Yeah, and then there's another one where um, a guy stole someone's identity. He was going around with that. He killed, sorry, he killed someone, buried them under the underneath the house. He was using their identity to sell the house and get everything that they owned, get all the money off them, and then uh, by the time he moved on, he found out it was him, and we still haven't found him. I also watched a film called Taking Lives, which is 
basically a guy who it's, it's all based around 20 years. He's travelling around America for about 20 years. And um, it's called Asher. And he's using all these identities to protect himself and to get an FBI agent to find find him. And it turns out that he actually sleeps with his FBI agent and the woman, and he fakes that his own death. And then it's revealed that he's actually still alive. It's confusing. But yeah, it helped. It's my story. Uh, the only challenges I've had is actually finding research. Spent hours online trying to find research of stories that I could fit in, or people with stolen identities, or anything like that. Couldn't find anything. And uh, another challenge I actually had was uh, in in the script itself. There's, there's, there's a conversation of where Adrian actually gets the idea, like because I couldn't think of. How we could actually get the idea of that that is this, like, this person. So that's the only idea I had. Any questions? Yeah. Um, how do you think of raising the budget for, to shoot this? Because it seems like it's a pretty big budget film, like, it's got a lot going on. Obviously, set up um, fund me. Hopefully, put out put out my idea, shot the tell everyone, uh, present my idea the best way I can. Uh, yeah, just set up a fund me page thing. Uh, um, do you reckon we need some primary research in my? Um, do you say like an agent, like a CIA agent? Is it? No, it was in a film that I watched. Oh. But no, the son is actually in the military. Right, so. but, but I was confused when you mentioned that film. Sorry. Um. <laughs> How do you like it to be shot? How do I like it? Well, it's different, right, really, because it starts off as happy, the woman falls in love with him, blah, 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 so I went all bright, and then as it gets to act two, I wanted to slowly get darker and darker as it gets to at free work, they're actually endangered him. Because at the end, he actually doesn't get arrested or nothing happens to him. Um, he's actually, he actually escapes and it carries on, if you get what I mean. Did they stop recording? No. It might have been all focused. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Yeah, it's true. Because you could just say What's the duration? Ten to fifteen minutes, because obviously it's like short. Are you sure you'll be able to fit all that in in ten fifteen minutes? Uh, yeah, because obviously. Sounds like you got a really complicated story. It does sound complicated, but it's the way I described it. If it was described in a simple way, then it would be easy to understand because I'm gonna have it like spaced over time. If you get what I mean. Yeah. So like, each act would be like so many months later and it's always different time so it's like the progress but like in the actual time itself like you can tell the relationship between each characters like you can see them however are you actually going to show any violence and i'm going to show any violence yeah. well yeah well not not actual violence but along the lines of it what, what? well i can't really tell you it's a weird one <laughs> no, I can't tell you. <coughs> one more question. One go, bitch. What is the target audience? Target <laughs> audience? Um, say around 16 to above. Because the week is tracks all ages, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh no, the 18 and all, actually.